Hello and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these three outfits in GTA Online. Two of them have police markings on the back and of course I will show you how to do that but please do make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel just in case you haven't done so already. Don't forget to join the Militated Discord server where you can view and share a bunch of different outfits. The invite link is in the description. You can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated and if you need any help then please do make sure that you read the pinned comment in the comment section down below. But with all of that being said, we are now ready to get onto the video. Okay, so the first thing to note is that doing this glitch will delete all of your player saved outfits apart from the one that you are wearing. However, you can transfer as many outfits as you want, including the one that I'm wearing, and I'll tell you when you can do that. To begin, we're going to press the start button, go to the online tab, and we're going to go down to swap character. As expected, this is then going to load up the character selection screen. Your main male character has to be in the first character slot, if it is in the second one then this will not work for you. We're now going to go over to the second slot and we're going to create a new character. If you can, I would advise that you copy your main character's rank over to this new character so that you don't have any issues buying anything in the clothing store, and no this will not affect your main character's rank. All we need to do here is make sure that the character is a female, then we're going to go down to save and continue, enter a name and take a photo. Please do note that if you disconnect at any point after creating the female character, then you will need to restart the glitch entirely as disconnecting stops the transfer glitch from working. Again, if you disconnect or lose connection, then you will need to restart this glitch. So now that we have spawned into the session, the first thing that we want to do is press the start button to bring up the map. We're now going to check and see if the clothing stores have spawned in. If they haven't, then all you need to do is go and find a new session. If they have spawned in, we're going to go and head over to one. Firstly we're going to start browsing the accessory section and we're going to go into the earrings category. From here we're going to purchase the B and W deco earrings. If you do not purchase these then the pouches from the tactical outfit will not transfer later on in the video. We're going to back out of accessories and go down into the gloves category and from here we're going to purchase the light woodland tactical. Again please be sure to do exactly what I'm doing in case you are new to this glitch. In the pants section we're going to go into the sports pants category and purchase the spotted muscle pants. We're then going to back out of pants and head over to the top section. From here we're going to go into the tank tops category and purchase the wine torn sleeveless crop. This is going to turn into the grey jacket when we're back on the male character later on. Next we're going to back out of tops and we're going to head over to the shoe section. From here we're going to go into the sneakers category and purchase the pink plain high tops. With all of that stuff purchased we're then going to go and make sure that we save this outfit in outfit slot 1 and we're going to call it outfit 1. With the outfit saved, we're then going to back out of shoes and head back over to the top section. This time though we're going to be focusing on the second part of the outfit which is the gun belt, so we're going to go into the work jackets category and purchase the peach camo closed field. If the jacket is open for you then all you need to do is back out of there, open up your interaction menu, go into style and make sure that jacket is set to closed. Going back to the top section, we're now going to go into the gun running t-shirts category. We're then going to go down to the bottom of the list and purchase the blue digital t-shirt. There are a few t-shirts in the same category with a very similar name so please do make sure it is this exact one. With the t-shirt equipped we're then going to go and make sure that we save this outfit in slot 2 and we're going to call it gun belt. So those are the two transfer outfits for the first outfit so we're now ready to move on to the second outfit. We're now going to go into the sports jackets category and purchase the black collared puffer. We can then back out of the top section and head back over to pants. This time though we're going to go into the jeans category. From here we're going to scroll through the list and we're going to purchase the Distressed Navy Cropped. After equipping those, we're then going to back out of the pants section and go back over to the shoe section. This time we're going to go into the boots category and we're going to purchase the black flight boots. As we already have the light woodland tactical gloves and the B&W deco earrings from the previous outfits, we're now going to go ahead and save this outfit in outfit slot 3 and I'm going to call it outfit 2. Ok so we're now going to focus on the second part of outfit 2 which is the plate carrier. Open the interaction menu, go into style and go down to outfit and equip the one called gun belt. Just as we did before, we're going to go back into the gun running t-shirts category. Press down once to go to the top of the list and then we're going to scroll down until we get to the brown digital rolled t. Like I said before, make sure it is this exact one. With that done, we're then going to make sure that we save this outfit in outfit slot 4. We're going to call this one char vest which means charcoal vest. Ok so now that we are done with the two transfer outfits for outfit 2, we're now ready to move on to outfit 3. To do this one we're going to go into the fitted suit jackets category of the top section and we're going to purchase the black fitted tux from the bottom of the list. 
By default this jacket should be closed so we're going to back out of the top section and open up the interaction menu. Go down to style and make sure that jacket is set to open. We then need to go back into the top section and we're going to save this one in outfit slot 5. We're going to name it outfit 3. After that's been done we're then going to back out of the top section and once again open up the interaction menu. From here we're going to go into style and we're going to equip the outfit called char vest. Now we can close the interaction menu and go back into the top section. Once again we're going to go into the gun running t-shirts category and we're going to press down once to go to the blue digital roll T. This is completely different from the blue digital t-shirt which was at the bottom of the list that we purchased earlier. With the roll T equipped we're then going to go and save this one in outfit slot 6 and we're going to call this one black vest. So those are all of the female transfer outfits that we need for this video. However we still have a bunch of empty outfit slots so you can watch some of my other transfer videos and make those outfits at the same time. I've left some video links in the description if you wanted to check those out including the outfit that I was wearing at the start of the video. To move on we need to initiate a force save so to do that we're going to open up the interaction menu. Go into style and equip one of the outfits that we made. Close the menu and an orange circle will appear in the bottom right of your screen indicating that the game is saving. If it didn't then just wait a minute and try again. Next we're going to press start, go to online and go down to the creator. This will then bring up the creator menu a few seconds later. We're now going to go into create erase and select tutorial. We're then going to press yes when this message comes up to start the tutorial and it will then bring us to a screen similar to this one. At this point we're going to press the start button if you're using a controller or the P key if you're on PC and you're going to go over to the online tab. Now go down to choose character and it will bring up the character selection screen like it did the first time. So once this has fully loaded up, do not select a character. Instead you're going to go over to your female character in slot 2 and you're going to delete it. Do not delete your main male character in slot 1, that is very important. Once the character has been deleted it is then going to reload the character selection screen and again do not select a character. Instead you're going to look at the bottom right of the screen and you're going to press the button that allows you to return to Grand Theft Auto 5. This is then going to take you down to a single player session and you're going to press the start button after the brief cinematic. Next we're going to go over to the online tab, go to play GTA Online and press go. As expected this is then going to load you into a GTA Online session. Whenever you're able to you're then going to head over to the nearest clothing store and go to the outfit section. Before we do anything else we're going to make sure that we save the outfit that we're currently wearing into an empty outfit slot. Again this is your favourite outfit that you wanted to keep at the start of the video. You may also notice that the outfits that we made on the female character have now transferred over to the male character. However you won't be able to equip them as they are merge outfits and I'm going to show you what to do with them now. To begin we're going to go into the diamond casino heist category and we're going to go into infiltration upgraded tech. From here we're going to purchase any of these outfits that have the pouches on the front. If these are locked for you then you need to complete the diamond casino heist finale on the silent and sneaky approach with the infiltration suits. I recommend removing the night vision mask as it will make the screen go green in what we're about to do. But first we're going to go into the pants section and go into the arena war pants category. From here we're going to go down to the bottom of the list and we're going to purchase the black chain pants. You can choose a different pair of pants if you want but this is what I'm going for for this video. We're also going to purchase the graphite retro runners from the running shoes category. Ok so we're now going to back out of shoes, press the start button and go to the online tab. Now go into jobs, play job, rockstar created, go down to verses and select crooked cop. When you get to the mission settings screen you're going to want to go down to where it says clothing and make sure it's set to player owned, that is very important. Now go down to confirm settings and invite someone. You can use auto invite like I did to get a random person but if you have a friend online to help you then that is also fine. Alternatively you can join the militated discord server, the invite link is in the description below and you can find someone to help you there. Once someone has joined and you have launched the mission it will then bring you to the outfit selection screen. So we're now going to go down to own outfit and press right once to equip outfit 1 and then right again to equip gun belt. As you can see the top has changed and removed the vest but we still have the pouches and we also now have the gun belt. If the pouches disappeared then that means that you forgot to add the B&W deco earrings to the female outfits. Ok so now that we are in the mission we're going to open up the interaction menu and go down to style and accessories. From here we're going to press left once on where it says gear to equip an earpiece. We're then going to close the interaction menu, bring up the phone and you're going to quit the job. This will then load you down into an online session and you'll still be wearing the outfit. The next step is to then head over to the mask store on Vespucci beach. 
Okay, so once we have arrived, we're going to open up the interaction menu and go into style and accessories and equip the grey earpiece. If for some reason you don't have one of these, then go down and purchase one from Ammunition in the gear section. In the mask section, we're going to go into the Diamond Casino Heist category. From here we're going to purchase the Black Neck Gator, which is the only one that happens to be locked. If you don't have it unlocked, then you can use a different one such as the grey one. Either way, we then need to go and head over to the nearest clothing store. At this point, we're going to go into the glasses section and go into the gun range glasses category. I decided to go for the black gun glasses, but you can pick whichever ones you want. After that's done, we're then going to go over to the accessory section and go into the gloves category. From here, we're going to purchase the black fingerless gloves. We're now going to back out of accessories and we're going to open up the interaction menu. From here, we're going to go into inventory and body armor and go down to where it says show armor. Simply just scroll through and equip the standard armor and once you've done that, we're then going to go back into the accessory section. We're going to go and save this outfit in an empty outfit slot and as you can see I'm calling this one Outfit 1 Comp. With that saved we're then going to go and delete the first two transfer outfits which is Outfit 1 and Gun Belt. We no longer need these as we have used them and we need to free up those first two slots. Do not save anything there for the time being. Optionally you can also go to Ammunition and purchase a parachute from the top left of the weapon section. You can then equip that by going into Style and Parachute in the interaction menu and making sure that parachute is set to On. I would recommend using the black combat shoot bag if you are going to be using a parachute for this outfit. Out of the three outfits, this is the only one that doesn't have the police markings, but we're now going to move on to outfit 2 which does have the police markings. Same as before, we're going to equip any of these outfits that have the pouches on the front from the infiltration upgraded tech category in the outfit section. We're also going to remove the mask from this to stop everything from going green when we're in Crooked Cop. Okay, so we're now going to start up Crooked Cop the exact same way as we did it the first time and make sure that the clothing is set to player owned. Then just invite a random or a friend or you can join the Militated Discord server, the invite link is in the description and you can find someone to help you there. Anyway, we're then going to start the mission and it will bring you back to the outfit selection screen. Now go down to Owned Outfit and press right once to equip Outfit 2 and right again to equip Char Vest. Don't worry about the invisible arms, they will reappear once we get back into a free mode session. Again, if the pouch has disappeared, then that means that you forgot to put the B and W deco earrings on the female outfits. Equip an earpiece from the interaction menu and then we're going to bring up the phone and quit the job. No surprise, but this is then going to take you back into a free mode online session and you'll notice that you are still wearing the outfit. As you can see, we also now have arms again, so what we need to do now is go back down to the mask store on Vespucci Beach. Same as before, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and press left on gear to equip the grey earpiece, assuming you have bought one from ammunition. We're then going to go back into masks and go back into diamond casino heist. This time we're going to be purchasing the grey neck gator as I think it works a little bit better, but you can also use the black one if you want. Next we're going to go into the hat section and go into the biker helmets category. We're going to purchase the black spiked from the bottom of the list and then we're going to make sure that we save this outfit in one of the empty outfit slots. Again, do not save it in the first two just yet. You're then also going to go ahead and delete Outfit 2 and Char Vest, which were the transfer outfits that we no longer need as we have used them. Now we're going to go back into the hat section and go into the Caps Backwards category. From here you can purchase any hat that you like. As a side note, you cannot use the black, grey or white backwards cap from the Diamond Casino Heist category of the hat section as they do not disappear in a car as I'm about to show you. So now that we have our regular backwards cap, we're going to need a motorbike and a car with a solid roof, so no convertibles. We're now going to open up the interaction menu and go down to Secure Serve. From here we're going to register as either a VIP or a CEO, depending on what you can do. Reopen the interaction menu, but this time we're going to go into Style and go down to Outfit and scroll along to the outfit that we just saved in the hat section, but do not equip it. Instead you're going to go up to where it says Parachute and then press Triangle to enter the car. Go back down to outfit and as soon as your character sits down and the hat disappears, you're going to equip the outfit. Go up to where it says parachute and press triangle to exit the car. Next we're going to go into secure serve, management and style and we're going to press right once to equip the founder outfit. We're then going to walk over to the motorbike and press triangle to get on. As your character is getting on, press left to go back to none and you should then be wearing the backwards cap with the neck gaiter. We're now going to drive over to the nearest clothing store with the motorbike. In accessories, we're going to go into the glove section and purchase the black fingerless gloves or whichever gloves you prefer to use. When you've made your choice, we're then going to back out of accessories and head over to the glasses section. From here we're going to go back into gun range glasses and purchase the black gun glasses. Again, if you prefer a different pair then that is absolutely fine, you can use whichever ones you want. 
So for the part that you've probably been waiting for, we're now going to head over to the top section. From here we're going to go down to the bottom to Crew Emblem and we're going to select Back Crew Emblem. You will need to join the new crew that I set up for you guys which has the police writing as the emblem. The link to that crew is in the description and you are free to join so go and join that if you want the police writing. Of course you need to have it set as your active crew and you will need to restart the game before it shows up. We're now going to go and resave this outfit in the top section and as you can see I have now called this one Outfit 2 Comp. Just before we finish up with this outfit I'm going to go through one problem that you're going to face with this. When you switch outfit and switch back you might notice that the mask has now disappeared. This is because we glitched the backwards cap on it which you're not normally meant to have. To fix this go up to where it says parachute and get onto a bike and equip the outfit as you're getting on. You can also do this with the car if you prefer just make sure that you wait until the hat disappears and then equip the outfit. Ok so moving on to outfit 3 we're going to once again go and equip the outfit that has the pouches in the infiltration upgraded tech category of the outfit section. As we've done previously we're going to remove the night vision mask so that it doesn't go green when we're in crooked cop. Now we're going to go over to the pants section and go into the jeans category. I decided to go for the faded dark blue regular fit but you can use any pants that you want to use. Whatever you decide to go for we're then going to back out of the pants section and head over to shoes. From here we're going to go into the running shoes category and purchase the mono retro runners but again you can pick whichever ones you want to use. Same as before we're then going to start up crooked cop once again and make sure that the clothing is set to player owned and then confirm the settings. Invite a random or a friend or you can join the Militated Discord server, the invite link is in the description and you can find someone to help you there. Then just start the mission and it will bring you back to the outfit selection screen. Go down to where it says owned outfit and press right once to equip outfit 3 and then right again to equip black vest. As I've said twice before if the pouches have disappeared then that means that you forgot to put the B and W deco earrings on the female outfits. Now just equip an earpiece from the interaction menu and quit the job via the phone. This will then take you back down into a public free mode online session. As you can see we still have the outfit on so what we're going to do now is head over to the mask store on Vespucci beach. Open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and equip the grey earpiece from the gear section. If you already have it equipped then that is fine, so we're now going to go into the mask section once again and go back into diamond casino heist. So to continue with the theme I'm going to go and purchase the grey neck gator once again and then we're going to head over to the hat section. From here we're going to go into the Diamond Casino Heist category and we're going to purchase the black forwards cap which should be one down from the grey one. In the clothing store we're going to go back to the accessory section and go into gloves and you can purchase whichever ones you want and for this one I'm going for the black wool gloves. Then back out of accessories and head over to glasses and purchase whichever ones you want. Just like before I'm going to go into gun range glasses and purchase the black gun glasses. At this point we're then going to back out of glasses and head over to tops to once again equip that crew emblem. Just in case you skipped ahead, in order to get the police writing you're going to need to join the crew that I set up for you guys which is linked down in the description. After having done all of that you're then going to go into edit saved outfits and delete the remaining two transfer outfits because we no longer need them as we've used them. Of course then just make sure that you go and save the outfit before you do anything else. If you transferred more outfits then of course you can now go and do those too but as you can see I have now only got the outfits that I have made and my favourite outfit which was from the start of the video. Like I said you should no longer have the original transfer outfits as we've been deleting them throughout the video. But that is pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel just in case you haven't done so already. Don't forget you can also join the Militated Discord server which is in the description and you can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated. If you need any help then please be sure to read the pinned comment down in the comment section below and you can also ask questions and I'll try to get around to you as quickly as I can. But thanks once again for watching and I hope to see you in the next GTA Online video.